What is the primary purpose of a DMZ or demilitarized zone in a network architecture? Is it A to store backup copies of critical data? Is it B to provide a secure zone between the internal network and the internet? Is it C to host the organization's primary web server? Or is it D to centralize authentication services? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is B, to provide a secure zone between the internal network and the internet. A DMZ is a network segment that acts as a buffer between the internal network and the public internet, providing an additional layer of security. And for the correct answers, to store backup copies of critical data, this is not the primary purpose of a DMZ, to host the organization's primary web server, while a web server can be placed in a DMZ, it's not the sole, pur sole purpose, and to centralize authentication servers. Authentication services are typically centralized elsewhere in the network. And for the next question of our exam, question number two. And the question states, in the context of network design, what is the purpose of segmentation? Is it A, to create separate physical network using different cables? Is it B, to divide the network into logical segments for improved security and performance? Is it C, to implement load balancing across multiple servers? Or is it D, to create virtual private networks or VPNs for remote access? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is B, to divide a network into logical segments for improved security and performance. Segmentation involves dividing a network into smaller logical segments to enhance security, manage traffic and improve performance. And for the incorrect answers, to create separate physical networks using different cables, this describes physical separation, not segmentation. To implement load balancing across multiple servers, load balancing is a different concept related to distributing network traffic. And to create virtual private networks or VPNs for remote access, VPNs are used for secure remote access, not segmentation. And for the next question of exam, question number three. And the question states, what is the primary benefit of redundancy in network architecture? Is it A, to reduce network complexity? Is it B, to lower operational costs? Is it C, to improve fault tolerance and minimize downtime? Or is it D, to increase network throughput? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, to improve fault tolerance and minimize downtime. Redundancy involves duplicating critical components or connections to ensure continued network operation even in the presence of failures. And for the incorrect answers to reduce network complexity, redundancy can add complexity to a network. Uh, to lower operational costs, redundancy often involves additional costs and to increase network throughput. Redundancy may not directly increase throughput but helps maintain network availability. And for the next question of our exam, question number four. And the question states, what is the primary purpose of load balancer in network design? Is it A, to enhance network security? Is it B, to consolidate network traffic into a single channel? Is it C, to distribute incoming network traffic across multiple servers or resources? Or is it D, to encrypt data during transmission? In our five seconds. And the correct answer is C, to distribute incoming network traffic across multiple servers or resources. Load balancers evenly distribute incoming traffic across multiple servers or resources to improve performance and availability. And for the incorrect answers to enhance network security while load balancers can contribute to security, that's not their primary purpose. To consolidate network traffic in a single channel, load balancers do the opposite by distributing traffic. And to encrypt data during transmission, encryption is a different function handled by encryption devices or protocols. And for the next question of our exam, question number five. And the question states, what is the primary goal of network segmentation? Is it A, to reduce the number of network devices? Is it B, to create isolated network segments for specific functions or user groups? Is it C, to increase network latency? Or is it D, to centralize network administration? You have five seconds. And the correct answer is B, to create isolated network segments for specific functions or user groups. Network segmentation is used to create isolated segments for specific purposes such as separating guests and internal networks. And for the incorrect answers, to reduce the number of network se devices, segmentation may involve additional devices, not fewer. To increase network latency, segmentation aims to improve performance, not increase latency. And to centralize network administration, segmentation does not necessarily centralize the administration. And for the next question of our exam, question number six. And the question states, what is the primary purpose of a proxy server in network architecture? Is it A, to filter and control access to websites and web content? Is it B, to encrypt all network traffic? Is it C, to store backup copies of critical data? Or is it D, to segment the network into virtual LANs? You now have five seconds.
And the quick answer is A, to filter and control access to websites and web content. Proxy servers are used to intercept and control web requests, filter content, and enhance security. And for the incorrect answers to encrypt all network traffic, encryption is not the primary purpose of proxy servers. To store backup copies of critical data, proxy servers are not typically used for data backup. And to segment the network into virtual LANs, VLANs are a different network segmentation technology. And for the next question for exam, question number seven. And the question states, what is the primary objective of a honeypot in network security? Is it A, to pro protect against malware attacks? Is it B, to detect and analyze suspicious activity by luring attackers? Is it C, to centralize authentication services? Or is it D, to encrypt sensitive data during transmission? And now five seconds. The correct answer is B, to detect and analyze suspicious activity by luring attackers. Honeypots are designed to attract attackers, allowing security teams to analyze their behavior and tactics. And for the incorrect answers to protect against malware attacks, honeypots do not primarily protect against malware. To centralize authentication servers, honeypots are unrelated to authentication and to encrypt sensitive data during transmission. Encryption is not the primary purpose of honeypots. And for the next question for exam, question number eight. And the question states, in network architecture, what is the primary purpose of NAT or network address translation? Is it A, to create virtual private networks or VPNs for remote access? Is it B, to encrypt sensitive data during transmission? Is it C, to translate private IP addresses into a single public IP address for network communication? Or is it D, to segment the network into virtual LANs? You now five seconds. And the correct answer is C, to translate private IP addresses into a single public IP address for internet communication. NAT is used to map multiple private IP addresses to single public IP addresses, allowing devices with private IP addresses to access the internet. And for the incorrect answers, to create virtual private networks, VPNs for remote access, this describes v VPN functionality, not NAT. To encrypt sensitive data during transmission, encryption is a different security measure. And to, uh, to segment the network into virtual LANs, VLANs are a different form of segmentation. And for the next question for exam, question number nine. And the question states, what is the primary purpose of a VPN concentrator in network design? Is it A, to encrypt sensitive data during transmission? Is it B, to centralize authentication services? Is it C, to create virtual private networks or VPNs for remote access? Or is it D, to segment the network into virtual LANs? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is C, to create virtual private networks for VPNs for remote access. A VPN concentrator is used to establish and manage VPN connections for remote users. And for the incorrect answers, to encrypt sensitive data during transmission, encryption is a function of VPNs, but not the primary purpose of a concentrator. To centralize authentication services, concentrators are not typically used for authentication. And to segment the network into virtual LANs. VLANs are a different network segmentation technology. And for the last question of our exam, question number 10. And the question states, what is the primary purpose of a SSO or single sign-on in a network architecture? Is it A, to encrypt sensitive data during transmission? Is it B, to reduce the number of network devices? Is it C, to allow users to log in once and access multiple applications without re-authenticating? Or is it D, to create virtual private networks or VPNs for remote access? And now five seconds. And the correct answer is C. Ladies and gents, if you'd like to further support this channel, make sure to check my Udemy Instructor channel where I've posted a number of CompTIA exams. The exams consist of 270 questions each and they are presented in greater detail. The link for my Udemy Instructor channel is presented in the description of this video. If and only if you found this video informative, make sure to drop a sub and share it with your friends. I hope you found this video informative and I will see you guys next time. Peace!